when your brushes get icky and goopy and all that stuff with acrylic, with gel, with art, how do you clean them? We get this question all the time. Stephanie is gonna go through all of it right now. Hey guys, we get a lot of questions about how to maintain your brushes or clean your brushes or you know get them ungunked once they've been messed up. So I'm gonna walk through our acrylic, gel, and art brushes right now. Okay, so what I have here is the Young Nails Artistic Sculptor Brush and it has a bit of acrylic backed up in it. I myself, when I was working in salon, I like to keep brushes for a very long time. It's kind of like a softball glove. I want to use the same one for a good while. I get used to one. I don't want to be exchanging them out for new ones all the time. I just like mine once they've been broken in. My, I had the Young Nails Artistic Sculptor and I had mine for about 10 years um, before they, I ended up getting a new one to test and I kind of moved on from there. But there's no reason that you shouldn't be able to keep a brush even if you've gotten your acrylic backed up in it. So what I do when I have a acrylic brush that seems to have some stuff going on, the hairs are all stuck together, I just can't get any of the acrylic out, I just let it set in my monomer. I don't like to expose the brushes to anything, any kind of harsh chemicals like brush cleaners or acetone, anything like that because they are made of real Kalinske hair. So eventually over time, it's gonna start to fray the bristles and leave you with a really unmanageable brush. It's just like if you were to dip your hair into acetone, it's gonna split all of the ends and kind of give it that frayed look. So you're just not gonna get a smooth application. After I've let the brush rest in some monomer for a good amount of time, I'm gonna take the brush out without draining any of the liquid and just set it on my table towel and really start to work some of that product out. Since I am, since it is acrylic that's backed up in the brush, letting it set in the monomer is gonna do the same thing that it does to the acrylic when you pick it up. It's gonna start to soften it. So there's no need to go and put any kind of chemicals on the brush. So I just let it set, I'll repeat the process. So same thing again, I'm just wiping it through on my brush. There seems to be a pretty stubborn piece right here. If that's the case, I'll take something like, this is the Young Nails Rhinestone Picker Upper. It has that small, fine dotting tool on the end. And I'll just kind of brush through some of those hairs. That's gonna break the acrylic up a little bit more. And then I'm able to kind of wipe it clean. It's similar to brushing your hair when there's knots in your hair. Just start working through it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and soak it in the monomer again. If in a very rare circumstance, I was just completely clogged, there was no getting through, I had tried all of these steps, occasionally I might add a drop of acetone into the monomer and do the same thing over again. And I mean a drop, and you're also gonna wanna get rid of that monomer after you've gotten your brush clean because you don't wanna use that on a client. So taking this back out, I'm really starting to kind of get rid of most of that acrylic that was in there. You can see now I'm able to start to roll my brush back into that point. Again, I can just flatten it out with my table towel, flatten it out on this side, back to the monomer, swirling it around a little bit, and now I'm able to pull my brush back into that nice point like it's supposed to be. Okay, so next up is our gel brush. What I have here is the Young Nails Master Gel Brush. And I have some white sculpture left on the brush. So what I'm gonna do is grab my tile and I'm gonna wipe whatever excess product I can off of the brush. And as many of you know, even if you've gotten the gel off of what looks like most of the bristles, there's usually still some gel embedded inside the bristles. So what I'm gonna do is grab one of my clear gels and this can be any one of your clear gels. It can be gloss, it could be base, build, whatever you have. I'm going to take some of my clear build and lay that out on my tile. And I'm just gonna use the clear to pull some of that color out of my brush. And again, wiping it on the tile, just kind of clearing it out all the way. And same thing goes with the gel brush as with the acrylic brush. It is still made with real hair, so I don't wanna expose this to any brush cleaners or harsh chemicals, because eventually that's gonna cause my brush to fray, making the application very difficult and just not having a smooth brush to work with. So after I feel I've gotten all of the color out of my brush, I can pull it through and it looks clear, I'm not gonna wipe any of this gel off. 
Since it's a gel brush, I actually want to leave some of the gel on it so that it can keep the bristles together and keeps them saturated. One thing you do want to be aware of is when you're working with gel, any kind of light exposure, whether it's from a window or from sometimes the lights that we have on our desk, can run the risk of curing your brush. So you want to make sure that for your gel brush, you have a brush cap so that you can keep it nice and covered. That way it's gonna prevent any kind of UV light exposure. All right, next I have our Young Nails Striper brush. This is an art brush. We also have the Young Nails Micro Detailer. Both of these brushes are gonna be cleaned and maintained the same. Let me show you. If I have just finished painting some designs on the nail and I was using my black gel paint, it's very saturated in the bristles. So I need to make sure that I get all of this black out before I move on to using a different color. Same thing as we had done with the gel brush earlier, I'm gonna do with the art brush. I wanna take some of this clear gel, lay that out on my tile, and I'm gonna take the art brush and just run it through the clear gel. You can even see as I'm starting to work it through, the clear gel is pulling all of that color out of the bristles and I don't have to worry that I'm damaging the hairs with any kind of harsh chemicals or any kind of any other solvents. So as you can see, the more I run this through, the more color is removed. And as I get through all the clear gel, I can pull the brush into a nice point, keeping all of the bristles together and ensuring that I'm gonna have a nice clean application next time I go to use it. So I hope this answers some of your guys' questions. If there was anything that we didn't cover, please leave it in the comments below. We'll be happy to get back to you. Thank you so much for watching our nail videos. To check out more, head right over here. And to subscribe to our channel, click right over here.